Okay, it is Tuesday, May 7th at about 11.20 p.m. And that would conclude day number 10 for me on the Miracle Cleanse, the Master Cleanse, the Lemonade Diet, whatever, what have you. I made it 10 days. So, if you think it's impossible to go 10 days without having solids, you're wrong. It's totally possible as long as you're drinking the right things. And it's possible to do it and be fully functional. So, um, I must say, overall, pretty good experience. Um, as I was telling you guys, the whole reason why I did it and why this cleanse resonated with me is because it says that lemon are the quickest way to help your body to reach alkalinity. So that's why I jumped on this thing. And I will share with you that I started off at this end of the spectrum, which is um, acidic. And in 10 days, I have worked my way all the way here, which is um, slightly acidic, very close to being neutral. And after neutral comes alkalinity. So I am getting there, and I will continue to pursue alkalinity offline. I will continue to eat. There are different foods that you can eat um, that will help your body to achieve and retain alkalinity. There are different things you can drink that would also assist with that alkaline water, different things like that. So I will uh, continue to do that. And here and there I may send a message or something on Facebook, but I won't be doing many more videos since this is pretty much the conclusion of the cleanse with the exception of coming off of it and that's going to be a four day process. I didn't realize that. So this is probably going to be end up being a 14 day type of uh, type of deal but you've got to make sure that you come off the diet correctly. So I am going to try to do that. I tried to cheat. I called and tried to see if I could find a way to cheat and the lady that turned me on to this program she said ah, ah, no no because you can send your system into shock and people have um, expired from eating too much too soon. So I will follow the instructions because I don't plan on expiring. I don't think it's my time to go. So um, I would encourage you if you're doing this, do it the right way, read the instructions, all that other good stuff. Speaking of instructions, you can get everything you need about this cleanse firsthand from this book, the Master Cleanse book by Stanley Burroughs. He was the originator of it and I think he may have authored it in 1993, but it's available on Amazon for dirt cheap. I, you could probably get it for, I think I paid less than five bucks for mine. So, Master Cleanse, Stanley Burroughs. I would encourage you to do that. As far as the strips that I was using, Therapure is um, a pretty good brand. At first I didn't like them because everything seemed to read the same, but after a while they started to actually um, to show some differences. It gives you a, a wider range. It gives you smaller increments compared to some of the other litmus paper that goes from five, jumps to six, jumps to seven, eight, nine, so you don't get the in-between readings, which can sometimes um, be a little misleading for you. So this actually came from Gate City Pharmacy and Friendly Shopping Center. Um, you get 50 strips for about uh, 18 bucks or something like that. But I would really recommend the Theraflu, uh, Therapure, not Theraflu. Lord, I don't plan on being sick. Not after this cleanse, I don't plan on, plan on being sick. But Therapure is what I would recommend offline. Um, and so day number 10, I am so ready to eat again. So I've got some soup that I put together, fresh, ve fresh veggies that I put together. It's called hodgepodge soup. It's a hodgepodge of vegetables. And just whatever I saw um, when I went to the grocery store, I just kind of grabbed them. Um, so it's uh, hopefully it's going to be good, but I can't really start eating that until um, until like tomorrow evening or something like that. So um, that's that. But um, on on the real, as far as the whole reason why I found this cleanse to be one to actually pull and tug at me is I've been telling my husband maybe I don't know maybe the past few months that. These commercials are really starting to get on my nerves. Um, the commercials on cancer and different things like that. I just feel like we are trying, they are trying to condition us to believe that cancer is a new normal and I refuse to believe that. I know that there are things that we can do. So some of the commercials just frustrate me. I have cancer, but cancer doesn't have me. You know, I, uh, it, It's frustrating to me. I don't want that coming into my television. I don't want that speaking into my environment. And not to minimize anybody's struggle if you're dealing with a disease, I, I, you know, my heart goes out to you. I think the best way for us to fight against this war 
is for us to pre prevent it in the first place and for us to be knowledgeable on what are the things that we can do. And I, I just think it's too much information out there for us not to know. And I refuse to believe that cancer is a new norm. I refuse to. And I'm sick of being slapped in the face with signs about it everywhere I go. I, I ugh, subliminally, I just, ugh. Okay, so that's, that's me. Yeah, so you can tell that that subject is kind of near and dear to the heart uh, for more reasons than one. At any rate, I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for the encouraging words that came over the internet throughout this 10 days. Um, it wasn't always easy, but um, I tell you what, if there be first a willing mind, if there be first a willing mind, make your mind up before you even attempt to do this thing, and um, you'll see it through from, from, the, um, from start to finish. So, and also the accountability of it. You guys have kept me accountable whether you realize it or not. Thank you for that. So if you're going to pursue it, do find you an accountability partner. Start video blogs on your Facebook page. Who knows how many hearts and how many people you can reach, how many homes you'll end up in.